I am happy to see you all here today. You are among the people with the most guts in this country because most of the people in Barbados are afraid. I see people approach me every day of my life. They call me at home, they see me on the street, they call me in the office. I forgot go to meetings to represent somebody, even the employers are telling me, um, keep up what you're doing. But they're not here because they're scared. We are scared of one woman. What she got that got is a burden because she went to Africa and buried the flag and bring all the demons. That don't help, that don't hurt. And only your mind will hurt you. That's what you believe. But let me start by telling you, I'm not seeing the drone anymore. Because, oh, it's, it's behind me, yo. Yeah. That is not ours, you know. We, we are a poor group. We can barely afford water for the group, so we can't afford the drone. So, um, that is not ours. So, even though they're saying that we are not effective, they are still monitoring us as closely as possible. So that is inconsistent. You can't tell me that we don't matter, are we making a difference? But you deploy drones and all kind of things to hear us. But our cause is just. So I don't care what they do. They cannot say that anything that we have said here is untrue. We, we told you, we started with the national insurance. We told you they want to take your national insurance money. <laughs> They want to take your national insurance money away from you and use it for their purposes. You know what I tell you? You might feel, oh God, I'm young now, I am 25 and then I work with a pension. I was 25 the other day too, you know. I was just the other day when I was 25. I'm real cute and all the girls that like me. Now there's only one girl that let me know that she's in the back down there. <laughs> You know, trust me, you can reach this age and your pension time will come. But what they have done now is to ask you to contribute more to get less. But not, not them. Not them. They, let me start with the code pensions for parliamentarians came about. In 1969, you know, this, this parliamentary service was mostly for people who want to give back to the country. They weren't paid and they weren't given any pensions, but they started these pensions in 1969. And Barrow synchronized the pensions with the civil service because the civil servants were entitled to retire at 55 on their pension. So he said, well, let the civil servants can retire on the pension at 55, so too should the politicians. But let the dear politicians decide, look, civil servants should retire 50, 60, then 65, then 67, and now 68. All the while, the same people who started at 55, the politicians, have brought this down to 50. And they don't want to have a commission, and they want to have everything to see if it is right. It, why is it, it going to be so much fuss to find out? Why politicians should get their pension like everybody else? Why you will have a commission? Why you want to wait for the parliamentary review party and all kind of nonsense? Did they have a commission to decide what they're going to do with national insurance? No. They had town hall meetings after the fact. They had town hall meetings after they drafted the legislation and get people and people started to talk about it. So then they had some sort of oh. For all, <laughs> since they had some sort of pushback, they come and they pretended that, oh, we're going to do the right thing. You can't do the right thing wrong. And scarily enough, on the Marshall Week show, we disclosed that they were going to take the control of the National Insurance Fund from the National Insurance Board and the state will be responsible and then the, minister, the state will advise the minister. Now this is, this is fun. Because the state who operates the state 
the Prime Minister and her ministers. So basically the Prime Minister. Because the rest of them have got no guts, balls, whatever you feel they call them. Go nuts. And they will decide how the national short money will be spent. And then they will advise the Prime Minister, I'm sorry, the Minister of Finance, how to spend this money, how to invest this money. So it will be the Prime Minister advising the Minister of Finance how to spend this money. There were only two times in the history of Barbados after independence that I know about that the Minister of Finance was not the Prime Minister. Then with the hands and then Chris Sinclair. No other time. The Prime Minister will essentially advise herself how to spend national insurance money. And before they even debate right on that piece of legislation and before it is enforced, they are telling you that they're going to send 40 million US a year. But this is what the, the state had planned to do. And they don't have the authority yet, but it's, they're not safe. You can trust these people with your money. I, I wouldn't trust them with the pennies to step up on the topic I to keep them closed and the old days. They would keep them. I do not trust this government with anything. You know, and I'll tell you why. I was a member of the Senate. One of her MPs told me that they, they, they had said, and I'm going to tell who they said, said what? That they're going to get me up the Senate because they get into much trouble. And they called a whole election to get rid of the Advice Franklin. I'm flattered. Now they thought getting rid of me or the Senate would have stopped me from talking, you know. But, duh, I'm here and I'm talking. You know? They have decided that they are going to do whatever they like. So when I got up in the Senate and I spoke up about the wrongdoings, they couldn't stand it. So it was basically money, Ted, Crystal Dredd, and myself. We, we didn't plan it. We just saw these things and we went ahead and we did what we had to do. And these people decided, no, that they that they make it look too bad. So they decided they're going to get rid of the dog and get rid of the McGuffey. I, I am flattered. I was never McGuffey before in my life. But what it was all about is that they brought legislation to Parliament without telling people what was, in, what was involved in the legislation. Like for instance, the National Identity Management Bill. That came to Parliament in 2021. And it came to the Senate a day when I, along with Crystal and Monique, had written to the, the, the President to say that we were not able to attend the Senate in that day. And these people pulled this piece of legislation from nowhere and passed it in one day. One day to make sure that I don't get a chance to talk about it. I didn't even know that it was passed then because I found out two years later. And I found out quite by accident when Vincent sent it to me. And I thought it was a bill. Only when I checked it in the past already, I didn't know. That is how they want to work. But look what happens with this ID card. That's what I'm afraid of it. I don't have any, I don't want none. I have a passport. I have a Barbados ID card. I have a driver's license. If them are enough to identify me, I don't know what will. But they are saying to you in that legislation that if you don't get that ID, you can't get a driver's license, you can't vote, you can't go to the hospital for treatment, you can't go to the bank to get your money. So what is so important about this piece of legislation and why is it so important that they have all of this information in one place on you. Even in the legislation that provided for taking your fingerprints. I end up criminal when I want my fingerprints taken. But I don't trust this government with anything. I don't trust them with my fingerprints. The government can come up for me and I'm gonna see if and if they will come looking for me and say, I can't do it there. I don't trust them. 
they have not shown that they can be trusted. But they must they must, you know. And then finally, and then for the result, because we get into the independence square, and then they tell you the people of Barbados got what they wanted. I'm not going to vote for, but let me tell you something. It doesn't like Mayor Morley came out of the blue and nobody don't know who or what she was. We knew. We knew. We knew exactly who she was, but we ignored it. We flew in the face of God, man, and, the, and supported the devil. So when we did that, we actually told God we rejected you. That's what we've done. So and so you allow them to get the 30 seats and say, well, that's what we want. If you're rejecting what is right and what is good, and you want somebody like that. Morals aside, I remember will tell you about these certain devices that may have been used. I don't know either the number I've ever seen. But that is what we, we embraced. And we've been punished for it. But we can put it back. We need, we need to get rid of these people. You have a government of one person. Because the rest can't speak up, they can't stand up to this woman, and she does whatever she likes. And then she comes out of the, out of the blue with some nonsense. And up, up for something to tell you, oh, we can give it for children $100. And the men's investigation on board didn't know. Just like when she saw Rihanna coming down without a bra, and she looked so good. She said, nah, she's a hero! You know, get real excited. And they had to go, and the next day, when they were awarded the actual ceremony, they had a boss sobers medal to put on she net because it wasn't planned. You know, that actually boss sobers were the Gishi. Because you don't come up one day as a national hero, you have to go and get it, the, the medal minted. And all that. I said, no. And I can tell you, at least two cabinet members told me that they knew nothing about it. She does whatever she likes. But we have to stop her. She goes overseas and get her instructions, then she comes back. Without understanding. Because people say she's bright. Not a boy fool you. She has a good memory. For see, she can see things and read them and we we go to get them. But don't ask her to explain them. She doesn't have a clue. And that is our biggest problem about her. She is a bluffer. And, and as a result, she surrounded herself with a million consultants. We even got a consultant from Trevor now at the Water Authority. I hear people tell me getting $20,000 a month. Oh, power to him. I guess he was making $20,000 a month. But that's what she does. She buys all people because he is the Barbados Labour Party representative on the National Council for St. Peter. See where you're going? She follows people. I'm not going to try to know if you try to go And all of a sudden, he's a consultant to the government of Barbados. I don't know how I'm consulting on what? Changing gears? You don't know how to manage it, so you don't need it. But, ladies and gentlemen, we should not be here today. This government should listen. They have all 30 seats, and those 30 seats have made them arrogant. We need to take those 30 seats away from her one way or the other. One way or the other, I mean, all legal means necessary and this march is one of those legal means to show her that we disapprove of her tactics we disapprove of her behavior and we disapprove of the way that the leader this country down the road everybody came the the other lady came earlier the young attorney and she spoke about the child protection bill that is not the, 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 the policies in there didn't happen. There were instructions given to us because they want to make Barbados LGBT following certain people. I ain't calling the names. I ain't calling names so nobody don't say it and quote me. I said that a bunch of them are LGBT and they want to do it to the country. 
They want to do everything. Even a lot of them are crooks and they want to start TV National Trust money. You name it, you, they're doing it. They, they have done nothing wholesome for the people of this country. Nothing. Everything that they have done so far was to, to help the rich white people. I don't know why I say rich white people, but they understand what I'm talking about. Not the poor. The poor needs help. The fella at the top who got his swimming pool and Mercedes and stuff, they don't need government assistance, but they're getting it. To the detriment of the people at the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up. Or it will be too late. If you don't stand up now, you will be saying, had I known, had I known has always come too late. It isn't too late now. We need to see more of you out here. We need to see more people writing in the press. We need to see more people going on social media because that is what worked for them. It can work for us. I want to thank you all for supporting this march. They said we are harmful, but the harmful has caused them to deploy a drone today and God knows what else. So we're having an, an impact. Don't fool yourselves. We are having an impact. They know it and they're scared that it will grow. Please let it grow or you will suffer. Thank you all. Good day. Yeah. Family, family, thanks for coming again. Uh, we'll be back out here in two weeks. We'll be back out here. Bring everybody that's here, bring somebody with you. We want to see this get bigger. We want to send a stronger message. And for the people that say we want, we want you to know that you all make a difference. Yeah. All right. The brethren here have a um, sign that says, always stand for truth. When cowards are many and champions are few. Right? We are the few. We are the few. And we make a difference. Don't think, because people are always saying about when you march, what make it don't make no difference. But we know and we see what's going on. Um, Marcia Weeks is, um, don't forget to plug into Marcia Weeks show. Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays.